Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today, I want to share with you some fun and inexpensive date ideas that you can do from home. And setting aside time, whether that's a day, an afternoon, or an evening, to really intentionally spend time with your spouse or partner is so important because it can help to deepen your relationship and create new memories. So today, I want to share five date ideas with you that you can do from home and that all cost less than $20, but that can be a great opportunity and a way for you to really connect with your partner and spend quality time with them. Plus, I might be biased on this one, but I think they're all pretty fun too. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and let's get right into this. Our first idea, and this is one of my favorites, is to make something together. Pick an artistic or creative endeavor and just spend a few hours getting lost in that creative activity together. And with this one, you can really use the supplies that you have on hand. If all you have is a pen and a piece of paper, try your hand at sketching. Or if you have a phone on you, do some photography. Of course, if you want to take this one to the next level, you definitely can. Something that Christopher and I love doing together is spending time on our individual artistic pursuits. So I might watercolor and hill oil paint, but we'll do that together in a way that enables us to really enjoy quality time and conversation. And it can really just be a great bonding opportunity. Whatever creative endeavor you decide to go with though, see what you can do to make the experience a little bit more special by perhaps having some charcuterie or other fun snacks on hand while you're creating your masterpieces. And then set the mood too with some of your favorite music playing in the background that's sure to inspire your creative juices. I love dates like this though that encourage you to really do something together and it can be a really fun and sometimes funny time where you can laugh or just enjoy your artistic abilities or perhaps lack thereof. This one is really all about having fun and enjoying the process of creating, not having this picture perfect art piece on the other side. Okay, number two is to have a proper movie night. And no, with this one, I'm not talking about just throwing on a TV show at the end of a work day. Try to really go all out with this one and recreate a proper movie experience. So put on your pajamas or your comfiest clothes, grab some pillows and blankets, maybe you even want to make a blanket fort, and then make sure that you have the right food and drinks as well. Be sure to pop some popcorn and find some fun beverages that you can both enjoy. So something that I personally love doing is making my own seasoned popcorn and then having it with a nostalgic soft drink or sparkling beverage. And then of course, the last ingredient of this one is to pick just the right movie. Personally, I love going to nostalgic movies or fun action movies for a proper movie night, but you can pick whatever movie you both are going to be able to enjoy and love together. I think that when you take the idea of watching a movie from something that you might do at the end of the night to really an intentional experience that you're kind of collaborating on and creating together, it does take it from this kind of like mindless activity to something that you're both really enjoying and engaging on together. All right, our third idea is to take a walk in nature and to enjoy a warm beverage when you return. And I love this one, especially on weeks where you might be a bit busier or combined with some of the other date ideas we're talking about today. But what's cool about this one is that there really are so many options available to you. You can go on a walk in your local neighborhood to a nature trail or a park, or even further out, perhaps you can go on a hike someplace that's within driving distance. Whatever you decide to do, be sure to use your walk though as an opportunity to unplug and to focus on having really intentional and meaningful conversation with your partner. When you spend a lot of time with someone, it can be really easy for your conversation to kind of naturally become a bit superficial, all about the day-to-day -day life that you're experiencing. But taking time to go on a walk together really can be the perfect opportunity to really dig deeper and find out how the other person is really doing. And of course, I know with it being the middle of winter right now, the temperatures aren't exactly the warmest outside, but just bundle up and kind of embrace Embrace the crisp, fresh air outside. There's a kind of peacefulness and stillness to nature in the winter that's really special, and if you don't get outside to enjoy it, you might completely miss it. Of course, when you get back inside though, to really complete the experience, I definitely recommend enjoying a warm winter beverage. Personally, hot chocolate has always been a favorite of mine, and I'm a big lover of tea as well, so those would probably be my go-to options, but whatever drink you decide to go with, you want to make sure 
that you have something warm to cozy up after a cold walk outdoors. Let's move on to our fourth idea, and that's to make a fun dinner together. I feel like eating food is really kind of a classic date ingredient, but to make this one a little bit more fun and less expensive, try really making an experience out of making dinner yourself. And of course, a lot of us make our own food every day, so a great way to make this date idea a bit more fun and unique is to make something out of the ordinary. Maybe you go all out and try to make a gourmet meal, or you try a new recipe from a cuisine that you love. Or something that Christopher and I love to do every so often is to make breakfast for dinner, whether that's making pancakes or waffles or something like that. But you want to pick something that the two of you can make together and that you're really going to enjoy the experience of. With this one especially, it's all about setting the mood both while you're making the meal and while you're enjoying it. Make sure that you have on some fun music to really set the mood and when you decide to finally eat your meal, maybe try enjoying it by candlelight. It really is all about the small details and the changes that you make that turn this one from an everyday meal into a special memory for the two of you. And finally, our fifth idea is to read together and enjoy a fun dessert. And this is a really fun and casual date idea that you can really easily integrate into your evening. And of course, like some of the others we've talked about, this one isn't just about setting aside some time to read together. It's really all about creating a special experience out of an everyday activity. So don't just get out the books that you're going to read, make a dessert ahead of time, whether that's a cake or brownies or maybe it's ice cream sundaes. But pick out a fun dessert that you can both enjoy while reading and don't forget the drinks either. Maybe you want to have a glass of wine while reading or perhaps a warm cup of tea. Kind of set the stage for it, turn on some warm cozy lighting, grab some blankets and then just cuddle up and begin to read together either something you're reading together or each your own individual book. This can make for a really relaxing and cozy night in that you can just enjoy together. All right, well, those are five inexpensive, fun, and really intentional date ideas that you can do from home. And I hope they really inspire you to spend some intentional time with your spouse or partner or loved one. Now though, I want to know what is your favorite date idea that you can do from home? Be sure to comment that down below. And if you guys are interested in any of the date ideas I mentioned, I did kind of put together a list of supplies for each of the date ideas for you in the description box below. So be sure to check that out if you want to try any of these dates for yourself. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video though. And if you did and haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button below for more simple and intentional living videos coming at you twice a week. And don't forget, you can always follow me on Instagram. I'm at ashlyn.eaton on there for daily inspiration and updates. That's everything for today's video. This was actually a hugely requested one, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do have any other video requests, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But like I said, that's all I've got for you for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.